Right, hey folks, welcome back to Old Stream Farm. Now we're just heading up to the dealer to pick the little square baler up. <laughs> Lovely little tractor this is. I'm not really a fan of the little stuff, but um, it's a nice little tractor. And it is nice to find a use for it. You know, I normally like using the big stuff, the Arctics and um, you know, the big old school stuff, but uh, Good opportunity to use a little 60, uh, 165. There we are, there it is. Oh, hold on, hold on. Pull this up in front of that bait room, innit? Well, it looks like they've got some quality second end um, you know, used machines in. You better go and have a look. this up <coughs> this is the problem I've had before oh no there you go we're going it's on <laughs> although uh, well, we'll just <laughs> we'll ignore that shall we Oh, a bit, bit of an angle there, we'll ignore that, we'll see if it works. Let's look at these uh, used tractors. It's 515C. 3670. Mm, nice, make use of one of them. Oh, now. 75C. We may just have to buy that, might we? That's nice. Always love a cat challenger. And oh, look at this. I'm not sure we can read what the, that says, but uh, that's a 9410, I'm fairly sure. Now that's a nice tractor. That is nice, they're both nice, aren't they? Hmm. Oh dear, we'll have to be doing some pure chase. What have we got on the end here? And, oh, a nice 4755. I could have all that lot, couldn't we? You could easily have all that lot. <laughs> no, not now. We've got to get on haymaking, haven't we, while the sun's shining. But that's nice. I like that. Yeah, we'll have to just sort of kind of ignore that. Strange why the attachers... Yeah, the attachers should be down there on the drawbar. And the bale would be sat level, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, well, well, we'll try it. I mean, <coughs> sometimes you can only do as good as the mods allow, so uh, we will see. If not, we'll have to. Yeah, there'll be another accident there. Transito and old Citroen this time. There's always accidents there. Out of the way. Yeah, I should beat you all. Um, yeah, well, we'll just see what happens. If not, we'll go and get the, 30, uh, the 44, 40. That'll um, do it. It's not, not exactly like we're short of prime movers, is it? Just been nice to use this little 65. Well, it looks like we're going to get some bows off here anyway, which is good. And the little 165 is powering it a treat. Despite the fact it's going through the drawbar. <laughs> like I say, you have to let the game off some things because, um, you know, it's. Uh, especially the mods and that, like when they're, you know, being created, it, you know, it's, it can't be easy to envisage every, you know, eventuality. So, um,. We'll just ignore that bit. Right now we're gonna yeah, trouble with um, 
there by us. You've got no choice in where you um, drop your last bale. Come on, man, you go, little tractor. Don't end up in that ditch. Yeah, it's working well then. Morning, afternoon, even. So that, yeah, that arcusing might well be the answer. Because um, I don't want to pick up 30 million conventional bows by hand. That's just not how you do it. You know, you'd normally have a sledge behind it. Um, or some sort of auto picker. So, uh, yeah, happy with that. Hopefully, we can make it across our little Ford. To be fair, it is a lot easier not having a um, bow collector on the back. You know, I've operated um, a conventional bale with a bale band on the back, and it's um, blooming hard work. <laughs> it really is. You know, not just um, the fact that you've got something else on the back to go wrong. Um, it's the manoeuvrability as well. So it's always nice just to have a baler. It's just got electric. It's got electric fan on it. Never really looked around a Massey inline baler before. Only balers I've dealt with of um, conventional ones, um, sort of welders and that lot. Now that's a nice sight. See that fully uh, fully bound. Right. I just got to hope we can get over this um, little stream. Come on, little one six five. Do not let me down. Yes. Go on, little girl. There we go. We've done it. Alright, pick up down. So I, you, I did like some of that gear they got up at the dealership. I really did. I know what I'm going to have to do back at the yard. I'm going to have to build up um, a specific shed for me, you know, my tractor collection. You've got to have a tractor collection, haven't you? You know, I've already got. Um, a good few bits and bobs in there and some you know one bit one tractor you haven't seen yet which is locked up nice and tightly in the shed so uh, but uh, there's there's a good chance I'll be adding some more there's a good chance I'll be adding some more so we might have to get the old um, 
dig her out and uh, doze, you know, get the, get some gear in and um, make a base so we can put a nice new shed in. Alright, that is that done. Now I presume we can, can we eject? Da, 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 no you, can, no, you can't eject on this, which is actually accurate because you can't. Um, there is no ejection available on little conventional bales. So, uh, but, uh, hmm. we'll turn her off a minute. I oh, know you can on low bale. Yeah, not entirely realistic, but uh, we'll get it off. Hold her up, pick up, uh, up. Alright, how many we got? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 in that field. So, not too bad. And then this field, so 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 37, 1, 2, 6, 3, 6, 4, 6, 5, 6, 6, 6, 7, 6, 8, 6, 9, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 3, 54, 50, what's that, 55, I think? Roughly about that, so that's not bad, I'm happy with that. Very happy with that. I suspect we'll have to um, probably go and uh, spend a bit more money, get that accusing. We're going to put this away first, anyway. We can make it back over our bumpy Ford. Yes. Go on, Massey. Massey power. We're not exactly using it much for grain storage, are we? That is, um, you know, we'll use that as a feed, I think. Anyway, right, we need to um, next year, Gil. Next year, we need to go and uh, get this Arcusin, I think. Unless I tell you what we'll do, we'll just um, we'll nip up the field in the pickup, <coughs> and um, oh, oh, what happens? Doors. So it's got a turn to no cover on it. Um, unfold car. Oh, I see, that's cool. Yep. Doors are shut, cool. Now, in order we can stick some bows in the back, I'm not sure about the tonneau cover, I'd rather just have, um, just have a pickup, but um, stick a couple in, can't we, and um, come feed the sheep.
sure we'll get a few in here. And that strap's doing, I'm sure. Slide a third in. Whoa. Yeah, I think that's good. up we should be um, good. <laughs> don't think we needed the um, take the belts off. They ain't gonna fall out are they? Surely to God. Coming shapes. Jet dog. Shut up. Grab about, chuck them, give them some. Hey, see what they think to that. Yes, loving it. That worked a treat. Come here. Top. Drop that in. Yep, lovely jubbly. Oh, I just want to try something. We'll just nip over to the cow yard. Because they should have some hay as well. Get these um well, get these dairy cows producing some milk, that's the main thing. Produce any milk yet? No. <laughs> oh, blind here, Riley. Yeah, so got, yeah, they've got, um, got some food now, not that you'd know it, and there's a few bits on the floor, but it's good, we need some more hay, and some, um, you know, we need some proper sod, you know, and uh, get some straw, as I say, we haven't got any straw, so we can get a, you know, a total much ration going, so, oh, we'll leave the truck there. I'll have a word with the dealer and see if they've got one of their Marcusins in stock. Okay, I think 
it's a job for the 44. Oh, so the dealer got one in stock luckily, so I've literally just gone and picked it straight up. And we'll rack and stack these bales. Sheep should be happy now anyway. Whoa, Jesus! Citroen 2CV Orange, I'm going to get onto the old bill about them. Another one here, look. What do you think you're doing? Honestly, what do you think you're doing? Wait there. Let's unfold this beast. Simple as she's on, ready to roll. So I forget exactly what this puts it. Is it, well, is it packs 14? See, it seems it's a D14. It could be. They're normally, I'm not sure with these. Let's just have a look. See, I'm not entirely sure whether the. I presume they ensure these um, uh, tie them up with steel bands, but I'm not 100% sure. That is how you do it. It's not like um, you know a big bow chaser where you'll pick a load of bows up and then inevitably you'll stack them back at the guard or the side of the field or whatever. Um, this you literally just make stacks in the field and then come along and put them on a the trailer. But then at least they're like a big bow to handle. Yeah, you know, they're easier to handle. That's the whole idea behind it. does now. Don't ask me to tip it. Yeah, unload bales, so I'll unload bales there. <coughs> unload bales here. Yeah, you might think, oh no, it's just fallen over, that's the idea. So then it's like a Heston bow to pick up, you see. Back to operating position. Just like that, then you've made them 14 bows, a damn sight easier to pick up. So that's cool. We will, uh, well, I'll carry on and make these into uh, into packs. And um, I think in the next uh, episode, we'll, you know, we'll get them back to the yard and we'll crack on with other stuff. We've got that other grass to, to make into silage. Um, of course there's, you know, there's, there's no end of stuff to get off with isn't it? So, but anyway I hope you enjoyed that uh, episode today a bit of real old school uh, and classic work today um, and yeah I'll see you on the next one ta ta